Surveillance video captures the frantic moments patrons scatter from the front of the 1111 bar around closing time 4 a.m. Police say club security was diffusing an argument between a group of people just as a police sergeant and a uniformed officer came upon the scene. The group arguing began walking away when one man pulled a gun and fired at the others. At that particular time, our officers take cover. We return fire. We hit the individual that possessed the firearm. And in addition to that, I believe there were four other victims that were injured. None of the victims, four men between the ages of 28 and 35, had life-threatening injuries. The suspect was taken to Harlem Hospital where he underwent surgery. Two of his victims were found at the scene. The other two walked into nearby Allen Pavilion Hospital. Police say the gun recovered at the scene was a so-called ghost gun, untraceable with no serial numbers. Such guns with parts ordered online and assembled at home. Councilman Yadanis Rodriguez, who represents this neighborhood, was relieved no one died, but angry over yet another senseless incident of gun violence in this neighborhood. In the last three months, three people have been killed in this neighborhood. One at Dykeman, one at Sherman, one at 202 Street. This is unacceptable. The investigation continued for hours, finally done around 2 this afternoon. The shooting suspect has since been identified as 25-year-old Ismuel Alcantara of the Bronx, who police say has an extensive criminal history. It was last Monday, around the same time, two people were shot outside of the Opus Lounge on 202nd Street and 10th Avenue. One of them, 35-year-old man, shot in the back, was pronounced dead at St. Barnabas Hospital. The shooting suspects fled in a white vehicle and are still at large. Back at the shooting scene outside of the 1111 bar, one neighbor says he's not shocked at all at yet another shooting. This happened literally like a month ago, so... Really? Same yeah. place? Um, if it happened in front of that playroom or made in Mexico, then yes. It happened right here. Oh, yeah. Are you getting tired of this? Of course. I mean, it's a lot of violence. I literally live right in that building, so... It's not, you know, it's not something I want in my neighborhood.